I love that Erica Slaughter is a girl's girl. Okay, in the middle of being wounded from hunting monsters and hiding out in a tree house and being discovered by civilians, she takes a second and is like, hey, I noticed you uh, got pranked and your little siblings cut off your hair. Do you want me to just like fix that up for you real quick? This is issue 38 of Something is Killing the Children. This is part of the Slaughterverse. Think monster hunting gore galore. If you're new here, here's a quick elevator pitch. Monsters are real. Only kids could see them. Kids manifest them by believing too much in what goes bump in the night. There's a secret monster hunting organization, but they're meat because they kill off witnesses and witnesses are children. So something is killing the children and that something is monsters and monster hunters. And there's a really cool sorting system. And the main character of Sick Tick is Erica Slaughter. And she's constantly rebelling against the Order of St. George and doing her best to not kill civilians and save as many people as she can. And if you've never read a comic before, just start with volume one. The series does have some Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes, but it's way darker and has significantly more gore. The last storyline of Something Is Killing the Children ended pretty crazy. Erica Slaughter is now on the run and the little thing in her head that allows her to see monsters has been ripped out of her. But now we're actually going back in time before issue one and we're getting some Monster of the Week episodic Erica Slaughter stories. And this is probably one of my favorites, Something Is Killing the Children issues. I think this is a great deep dive on Erica Slaughter as a character. And she is a girl's girl. Also, we get to see Aaron Slaughter in this issue and I love Aaron Slaughter. Um, oof, I love that boy. I don't want to give too much away, but I really like this Monster of the Week episodic format going on right now. It's a great way to get to know Erica Slaughter better. But yeah, issue 38 is out now, published by Boom Studios, written by James Hine in the fourth, illustrated by Werther Del Utera, and colored by Miguel Muerto. I, I genuinely will never shut up about this series. I love it so much. And this issue was just so... I love Erica Slaughter. Should I cosplay here, guys? Should I get a tattoo? You, you let me know. 